Welcome to our picture frame project. Today we are going to begin a picture frame project that is going to take us a couple classes to do. So um, I have several different examples here. We have three different types of picture frames to choose from and what we're going to do is paint them up and we are going to draw a self-portrait in the center of our picture frame for display. So these guys right here are laying flat right now, but I'll show you in a moment. Ooh, I put the picture in sideways. They have a little prop that will make it so that it stands up, okay? So let me get those out of the way. Let me show you the choices that you have for your frames. So we have a centered heart. We have an off-centered heart. And we have this scalloped edge. Don't worry about the picture that's inside of it. We're actually turning it around and you won't even see that. Um, but I'm going to do the scalloped edge here. So I'm going to get these out of the way. And... When you get this, Mrs. Shardle went ahead and pre-cut a little slit in your frame so that you can stick your finger in and get the plastic off. You are going to, oh, that sound is awful. You are going to take the plastic off of these. But be very careful. There's something that you need to keep. You see this guy right here? This is the post that goes in the back of your picture frame so that it sets up like so. So I am going to have on the clay table for you a tray for that to go into, All right? So to put our names on this, I said that we are going to be doing a self-portrait on the center. We're going to be drawing on this side. So what I'm going to have you do is with your Sharpie marker, you're gonna write your name and class code. In this case, you are 1B, but if this is pre-recorded um, and I'm not doing this right in front of you, it's probably either 1A, 1B, 1C, or 1D, okay? And then you're done with your Sharpie marker for today. So we've collected our post. We've put our name on it. And now you are going to need scratch paper underneath, which Mrs. Shardle forgot. So I'm just gonna use this white paper that I have. Um, and we are going to paint our picture frames solid today. Basically, we're gonna get rid of what looks like wood. So on this one, I painted mine a turquoise, let that dry, and then the next day added the embellishments around the heart. This one I painted solid red, and I'm going to use it probably tomorrow for an example. And this one right here I painted like a turquoise and added a glitter shimmer too. So I'm going to also use a glitter shimmer on this one, and I'm going to paint mine black. So you will have a water container to share, but you are also going to have a about a medium size, it's not like a super chubby one, but a medium size square paintbrush and acrylic paint. Acrylic paint can stain your clothes. So you want to make sure that you don't get this on yourself. If you do get it on yourself, do not wash it or heat, let it get hot. So wash it with cold water and do not stick it in the dryer until it comes out. Okay, because once it gets heat set, which means that it gets hot, it's gonna stay in fabric. So I'm going to take my brush and I am going to paint my wood back and forth. I am also making sure that I am painting the inside of the frame here. So do you see how there's like an edge that needs paint on it too. And don't worry about getting it on this side of your picture frame, like the dogs where we put our name. As long as we can still read your name, you'll be okay. Okay. 
all right? And you also want to make sure that you are getting the edges really well. So you have to get the edges. I keep going off camera, I'm sorry guys. Really well. Get all those little nooks and crannies. Mrs. Charnel, but I don't want mine to be a solid color. I want polka dots. Okay, that's, that's fine. But guess what? That's tomorrow that you add that over top of your solid color. So today we are painting these a solid color. Tomorrow we can add the details. When you are done painting, I'm not gonna sit here and paint all this because you guys get the point. You are going to put your brush in the water. You are going to close your paint. This is going to go back to counter one. Your water containers with the brushes are going to go to sink one. These are going to be carried on the scratch paper to the drying rack, but then you're gonna take it off the scratch paper and put it on the drying rack. You're gonna say, why in the world am I taking it off the scratch paper? Well, if you leave it on the scratch paper and there's paint touching the paper, it'll get stuck to your, your wood. So we're gonna let it dry on the drying rack without scratch paper, okay? Tomorrow when we come in, I'm gonna show you how to add decorations. This black one I'm gonna do the glitter on and this one I'm gonna do some kind of design I haven't decided yet. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to the very last day, we're gonna flip this over and draw a picture of ourselves with our name on it for our gifting. Yep, questions on this today? 